You've heard about some exciting machine learning publication or GitHub tool. Even though you are eager to try, you have no idea how to reproduce the paper or run the code. I've been working on something exciting for several weeks. Something that will benefit everyone who works with data in oil and gas. It will change the status quo that you must be a skilled programmer to run open source ML tools on your own data. And I did, in fact. It is right here. The question remains, how does it benefit you? I set out to answer this question and I set out to tell you about the Geoplot AI. Geoplot AI is a commercial product that provides AI-powered geoscience solutions. It is basically a machine learning toolbox that will definitely extend the reach of your conventional software. After completing more than 100 projects with customers, I am confident to say that Geoplot will increase the quality and speed of your structural interpretation workflow. Give it a try at the link below. My name is Ruslan and I'm here to show you the framework that will let you use machine learning solutions in your daily work. The idea came to me one night when I was searching the GitHub website for a good ML tool. I was shocked. There are a lot of good tools in here. But how can people use them? Let's forget about everyone else and talk about my friend. My friend Mark is a professional geophysicist. He fascinated about machine learning but he doesn't know enough programming. It would be challenging for him to learn how the ML script works, learn how to convert his data into the format for the script, how to visualize the data, how to run training inference, and finally, how to export the result. I wouldn't say that would be impossible for him to do that, but will definitely take a long time. I started by making a plan, which was kept simple on purpose in this case. We need a graphical user interface, a way to load data, run experiments, and see the results. Right now you can load seismic data in NumPy and Segway format. You can also look at the text header of the file and fix some problems, but on this later in the video. It looks like the current list of objects is pretty poor. In comparison to the whole list, I'll be adding more as we need them for particular ML solutions. After that, the visualization is the most important part because we need to inspect the data. Here, I use an interactive Plotly Express library to build two functions to visualize 2D and 3D seismic data. With the sliders, you can move in each direction to see data in 3D. I have to say that the 3D dataset is not loaded into memory all at once. Instead, it fetches data as it needs to save your RAM. It's better to store the data in SSD for faster rendering. You can also change the color map to one of the predefined colors. Also check the frequency spectrum plot that is calculated in the current view. At the moment, I'm working on integrating several tools. At first, I choose tools that require seismic data as input. You can see the whole list of integrations on the main page of the app. Sign up for the channel to find out when new integration is available. Now let's go over installing the framework on your computers. Here I use Streamlit to create the framework. As they write it, Streamlit turns data scripts into shareable web apps in minutes. I can say that learning Streamlit was simple, but there are a lot of bots to that. You must use CSS hacks and HTML codings whatever you want to customize something or add new functionality. Clone the repository to your computers. You can find a requirement file in the folder. Execute this command to configure everything we need to run the app. Then the app can be launched with a simple command. Let's fetch a few seismic data for demonstration and I'll show you how to load them into the framework. Most likely you're already aware of the SCG wiki website, which contains a list of open seismic data. Let's go ahead and download the Tearpod Dome 3D dataset and the 2D seismic data from the USGS website with us have two data sets. Let's begin with 3D survey. Selecting the import seismic button in the sidebar. Push Segway 3D on the radio button selector. The complete path to the Segway file needs to be specified below. And then you can see survey text header, which tells you a lot about the data set. Okay, you want to view the data, which you can do by selecting the import file tab. And there is a problem. 
The good news is that I will show you a few tools that could be useful for troubleshooting. Here, we can see that Sege IO claims that either the volume is not sorted, or the volume has different bytes for the inline and xline data. Let's then check cross lines and inlines in the troubleshooting tab to see if they are spaced consistently. Clicking the button shows that the coordinates looks good. Returning to the header section, you can see that the correct bytes are 181 and 185. Returning to the import tab and replacing the incorrect variables, you can also see that the file was read correctly. There aren't many tools and they can't address all the issues with Segway standard or how we use it. You can now expect the data and change the color of the palette. Let's now follow the steps with USGS 2D seismic data. I will pass the file name and path here. In this case, nothing needs to be changed because everything is working properly. The seismic line is visible right here. The most important part in this video is the part about the remark. I'm doing this on my own time. When I'm not at work or with my family, I mostly do it in my mornings or on weekends. This is why the framework will be kept simple on purpose. A few shortcuts have been taken to get more value with less work. If you think what I'm doing is important, sharing knowledge and educating about latest AIML developments worth something, you can join the effort and make this tool with me. And if you are eager to try, in this video, you'll get information how to run machine learning for seismic fault detection.